Hey, it's Chris Johnstone. Welcome to your master class. And whether you want to double your business or five times your business or 10 times your business, I'm going to be giving you the process and the layout and the system that you need to achieve whatever your income goals are in your mortgage business. And what we're going to be going through is three simple things in this workshop. First, I'm going to show you the layout of how we need to plan the process for your growth. Then I'm going to take you through the plan and actually show you step by step how you can achieve whatever growth number it is that you want. And then I'm going to give you the system. Once you've laid out the entire process, you'll be able to quickly and easily establish how to hit the growth targets in your business. I think you're absolutely going to love it. Now, this is going to be an actual workshop session. So you need to get rid of all the distractions that are out there. Make sure that you close the door to your office and you get out your pen and paper. If you're not ready right now, pause the video, come back later because this is very, very important information that's going to help you make a massive impact in your business when you implement it. So the first thing we're getting into is the process. Check this out. So the process, this is going to seem a little bit simplistic, but once we get into it, this expands out into a full business mapping session for you. So over here, all the way on the left, we have you and your goals right now. And this is essentially where you're at in your business right now, as far as your volume and your income. And where we're going to take you through this master class is all the way over here where you want to be. And this number represents two things. This is the volume that you need to do in your business in order to hit your income goals. So we're going to be talking about business volume and personal income. And you can tell we're going through a process in order to get you from where you are to where you want to go. And in order to do that, we need to build these little bridges and these systems are going to be what's going to get you from where you are to where you want to be and the income that you want to be making in your business. Now, before I step you through the three different bridges that we have, I want to give you just a little bit of insight into why we're learning this together and how it's going to make a massive impact on your income. See, this is a process that was taught to me by one of my coaches that teaches me at a very high level on business growth. And what I've done is I've taken it and then modeled it in my mortgage consulting clients. So we've had hundreds of mortgage professionals that have paid for our consulting package that have gone through this exact process. And the mortgage world is completely different than any other business out there. And there's really three main levers or bridges that you need to build in order to hit your income goals. And the first bridge that you need to build is your past clients. And we're going to put a big D on this because this is your database, right? The first lever, the lowest hanging fruit that you have available in your business is the people that you've already done business with and your center of influence. So there is going to be a specific number that you can pull every year out of your database and know how much business you're going to do from your database. You can associate that number with this box and then tell how close you are to hitting your end goal. Then that helps you establish what the other two boxes need to produce for you as far as income, right? So the first is your database. The second is your referral partners. And we're going to put an R in there. Now, this is something that requires a lot of work, but is scalable, right? Your database, is your database, is your warm network. There becomes a law of diminishing returns over here. This becomes somewhat static. The referrals, this is your first area where you can make a massive impact and you can make massive growth in your business. The more referral partners that you have in your business, obviously, the greater your growth can be, right? Now, the third low hanging fruit that you have in your business and the greatest area of impact where you can make the most amount of growth happening is with your marketing. And that is you going out into the mortgage world, bringing in new customers. And it was put to me in this way. These two things are core business systems that every business should have. 
If you don't know how to turn advertising into profit, you don't actually have a sustainable business because you're relying on two different factors that you can't control. When you can figure out how to put an investment into marketing and return more than you have put into your investment, that's when you have a business that's scalable. And that's what I'm going to walk you through here today. So this is our process. I'm going to show you how to generate more referrals from your database, how to generate more referral partners that are going to send you business and how to turn marketing systems into profit in your business. So let me take you through the actual system. Okay. So now we're into goal setting and this is pretty much the most important part to this whole exercise because if you don't know where you're going, it's very hard to map out a plan to get there. And it shocks me how few business owners that rely on their business to provide income for their family don't know these numbers because they are a critical component to your success. And I want you to be successful. You're going to use this plan to go out and implement these systems to generate a greater income in both your business and your life. So goals are very, very important. And in order to make all of it work, there's one core number that we need to figure out. And it's going to be different for everybody in the mortgage business because that is the number of dollars that you generate for each actual transaction in your business. Now everybody's split's going to be a little bit different. Everybody's numbers are a little bit different in your business. What I need you to do as a ballpark figure is figure out how much income you generate per one transaction in your business. That number is what we're going to build the whole rest of your platform on top of. But without this number, we can't figure out your specific numbers. So it's okay to ballpark this, figure out how many deals you did last year, how much income you created, and on average, what one deal is worth to you. And again, you probably know this number somewhere in the back of your head, but it's very powerful to write it down. Now, in order to set a goal, we need to know how much income you want to generate in your life. Now, again, everybody's number is going to be a little bit different. Everybody's goal is going to be different. That's part of the magic of what makes this work. And we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because goal setting is a video in itself, but what I do want to share with you is that you need to build a very clear picture of what you want your life to look like. And then it's very easy to go through the process of making the effort that you have to put into each of these different blocks in order to get to the income that you want. But if you don't know where you're going, it's impossible to get there. So think just for a moment, what you want your life to look like, right? What type of car? would you like to drive? What type of school would you like your kids to go to? Uh, you know, for your wife or husband, where do you like to vacation together? And how much is that going to cost? What does your house look like in a perfect world, right? Figure out what all that stuff is and assign a value to it, right? You know how much roughly that stuff is going to cost. Build your perfect life and use that to set your goals. Just don't pick some airy fairy number as I want to make a million dollars a year. Why? If there's no why behind it, your brain can't process why it's doing all of the hard work in order to get to the end goal. There has to be a vision behind it, right? So figure out what you would like your perfect day to essentially look like and then establish a number to that. Then we can work backwards and figure out how many deals you actually have to process in your business in order to create the income that you need in order to lead the lifestyle that you want. So I realize that's a little bit heavy this soon in the video, but this is what really makes all of this work for you. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're going to use just a round number and we're going to say that we're going to get to 50. Okay. 50 additional transactions that are going to come into your business. So whatever you have right here in your business is your baseline. And we're going to add 50 transactions on top of that. Now we're starting to do some real work here and actually figure out how much work needs to go into each of these boxes in order for you to reach your goal. Now in your database, everybody's database is different, right? We all have a different center of influence. We all have a different number of past clients that we've actually worked with. So 
we're going to give you a round goal number and everybody's number is going to be a little bit different. But for every five people that you know in your database, every year you should get about one referral. Some people's numbers are going to be higher, some people's numbers are going to be a lower. Average, we're going to say that for every five people you have in your database, you should be able to do one transaction. And that's from emailing them on a monthly basis, calling them every quarter, keeping up with them on their birthdays, the standard stuff that we all do to generate income from that database. Take the number of people that are in your database, do the math and figure out how many deals you're going to be able to transact. Then you can essentially take that off your 50. Then look at your referral partners. Now the way that we do the math on referral partners is we say that for every one quality referral partner that we have in our mortgage business, that person is going to be worth about a deal every other month. Keeping in mind this is an average across all of the people that we have referring us business. But a good referral partner should be worth about six transactions. So again, you can take that number and figure out, okay, well if I want 24 deals a year from my referral partner block, I need to go out and get four more referral partners and that's going to average out to 24 transactions a year. And again, by tracking your goals on a monthly basis, you can tell whether that number's low or high and whether you can get rid of a partner or add a new partner in in order to be able to hit this main target. Now, these two numbers, you'll notice, are relatively static. You can go out and get more referral partners, but it's very difficult for you to go out and get more people from your database to refer, right? And that's where marketing comes in. And this is where you're going to fill in the rest of this number to be able to hit your goal and to be able to hit very lofty goals as you scale out this marketing system. Right? So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to hop into the structure of a marketing campaign and show you how you can extrapolate this out to fill in this volume number. So do the math on how, much, how many deals you should be processing from your database, how many deals you're going to get from your existing referral partners, and then we're going to start planning out your marketing system and your marketing processes in order to be able to get you the rest of the volume that you need in order to hit your personal income target, okay? So I'll see you as we break down our marketing system. All right, now we're into the fun stuff. This is marketing. And I'm a very firm believer that your marketing should be rolled out in your business with a very strategic plan in mind. And what you want is the highest level of results for the least amount of effort, right? So you do as little work as possible and generate as high a quality lead as you possibly can. And there are basically three different ways that you can use online marketing to fill in that marketing funnel and reach your goals. And the first is obviously Google. Now, the reason why Google and the search engines themselves are so important is because people are actively searching for your mortgage services. And that means that we know that they want what you have to offer. And we use a process on the front page of Google where you leverage not only a ranking on the front page, but ratings and reviews so that you are seen as the obvious first choice. Now, that's amazing because people are actively searching for your services, seeing you as the best rated on the front page, and the majority of the traffic comes to you. And that's incredibly powerful because statistics are showing us that over 80% of people that get a mortgage are actually doing an online search for local businesses. So we know that can be a fantastic source of business for you. And if you don't have that dialed in, don't move to the next two steps in filling in that marketing funnel because this is going to give you the greatest result with the least amount of effort. Now, after you've implemented that Google process, there is pay per click. And this allows us to run online ads, drive people to our websites, and convert them into clients and customers. Now the way that this works is you have to pay for ads. This is all organic traffic. Once you rank on the front page, the traffic is essentially coming to you free every month because you're ranking. This, you're paying for that traffic to come to your website. You can do this on Google AdWords or Yahoo, MSN, 
Kijiji, Facebook, all of those strategies where we push our marketing message into the market. Once you've got this Google funnel laid in, pay-per-click is the next step. Then underneath that, you've got social media. And this is where you're producing content that goes into the marketplace so that people can refer your business to other others and target people using ads with quality content to bring people into your social media funnel. So by law of diminishing returns, you want to focus on Google first. So that is where we're going to move our training next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to my desk and I'm going to show you exactly how to rank your business on the front page of Google and generate a tremendous amount of five star ratings, reviews and testimonials so that you can reach your income goals and actually hit your income target that we laid out in the process. So I'll see you on the computer. Here we go with our Google process. And I wanted to start with a little bit of a testimonial here, just showing you the leverage really that going after this low hanging fruit on Google and tapping into people that are already looking for your mortgage services does. And this testimonial here, I'll skip down to the bottom. It says my ROI is running at 358% year to date, which is just fantastic and really does showcase the power of what Google can do for your business. Now, it's very important that we're going through this training right now because artificial intelligence has now been integrated into Google search. So this is from TechCrunch on June 4th, 2016. Google no longer just works with algorithms to change the way that businesses show up on the front page of the search engines. What they do is they now have artificial intelligence that goes out and pairs the right searchers with the right businesses. It's absolutely incredible. So every single search result has a different mixture of algorithms. And I realize that that's technical, but uh, let's break it down a little bit into what that means for us in the mortgage business. When somebody sits down in front of Google, and they do a search for a mortgage broker or a loan officer or what the mortgage rates are. As soon as they use a series of phrases that shows Google that they're looking for a professional, Google changes the search results to showcase local businesses to the people that have purchase intent. And this is the first time ever in the history of Google where their rank brain is actively pushing the highest quality leads off of Google in a category to local businesses and local business owners, which is absolutely fantastic for us. So let me show you what this looks like. The screenshot that you're seeing on the left where I've got the red box around the advertisements up at the top. The search that I've done there is for Toronto condos for sale. So that tells Google that the searcher is looking to purchase a condo in Toronto. So the ads show up at the top and then look, there's a map that shows up in the middle with three businesses in Toronto that deal specifically with condos. Then underneath that in the blue, they show the organic search ranking. Now, moving to the right, we see a search that I've done for Toronto home prices. So the difference between these two phrases is that Toronto home prices tells Google that I'm not necessarily a buyer. I could be somebody that's looking for news. I could be somebody that's looking for just for information on the Toronto market in general. So that artificial intelligence takes my search and says, okay, this person isn't a customer. They're not looking to buy anything. So we're going to show them news. And if you look through the search results at the top, obviously there's no map. There's only one advertisement that comes up at the top and look at all of the websites that they're showing. They're all news sites, the star Huffington post, the globe and mail, right? So this brain is determining which searches have purchase intent, who's looking for news and shows them a completely different structured front page based on that search result. And this is happening both on mobile and on desktop. And then if you look at the search that I do on the far right, I've searched for best realtor in Toronto. And you can see the map listing is completely different because that rank brain has said, okay, now I want to go out and I want to find professionals that are highly ranked in the marketplace because this person is ready to buy today. And Google is showcasing those local businesses that have more ratings, reviews, and testimonials on that particular search. And those 
are the types of search phrases that are really driving traffic and that are really going to help you reach your income goal. So it's really important to understand that by optimizing your website and your online presence properly, which I'm going to walk you through right here and give you the actual steps that you have to take. By doing this, Google is going to do the heavy lifting and put the highest quality customers that are ready to get a mortgage right now on the phone with you because they have got enough research behind them that they know which search phrases are now driving actual purchases, which is unbelievable. And the results that we're seeing from our clients that are on the front page, this has made a massive shift in the number of phone calls and actual closed transactions that are happening. And this really is the key to online success. All you need to know is who you want to attract and market just to them. Google will do most of the heavy lifting to bring those people to your door and get them on the phone for you. Now, this is very important. When you show up, you have to be the top rated option. It is the number one and the number two rated businesses that are now getting the majority of the phone calls and the majority of the traffic. Our customers, and I'm sure you, when you do a search for online services, you check the ratings and reviews and you wanna go with the highest ranked option. The mortgage business is actually hyper-focused on ratings and reviews because it's such a large purchase decision that our clients are making. So we want to make sure that you're the top rated option. And I'm going to give you a simple process to help you become the top rated loan officer or mortgage broker in your marketplace as well. So specifically, what I'm going to show you how to do here today is get on the front page. So again, I'm not trying to brag uh, or be weird about this at all, but we have clients ranking in some incredibly competitive marketplaces all across North America. You can see the screenshot on the left-hand side. These are all recent screenshots. We've We've got uh, Burlington Mortgage Broker James Lowen showing up in the A position uh, and his website also very well ranked. Uh, the second screenshot, you can see Silicon Valley Mortgage Broker. That's kind of the home of all these large scale tech companies. And there's a ton of really sophisticated online marketers in that space. Our client, Michael Colo, in the B position with 20 ratings, reviews, and testimonials when people are searching for mortgages and loans in that particular marketplace. And then I wanted to show you that this also works in other businesses. It's not just the mortgage business. We've got a client uh, that does reclaimed wood furniture. And again, we've gotten them ranked. And the reason why I wanted to just kind of throw that into the presentation here today is to show you that you can take the information that you're, that you're learning in this workshop and you can share this with your real estate partners, with your lawyer partners, with your home inspector partners, all of those referral partners that we talked about in that second box that are going to send you business. You can leverage the information that you're getting here to go out, introduce yourself and provide value to those referral partners, help them get ranked on the front page of Google, increase their business, which then also increases your business. So I wanted to open your mind up to all of the possibilities that you have once you have this core skill set and the resources to put a local business on the front page in the local market. It's really cool. So the first thing that you need in order to start driving volume is a Google My Business page. So if you don't already have one, go to business.google.com and sign up for one. Uh, You may have heard these referred to as Google Places pages or Google Places for Business pages. They've changed the name a whole bunch of times through the evolution of really making this as powerful a tool as it is. But If you already have one, go to business.google.com and that's where you're going to update your profile and make sure that it's optimized properly. If you don't have one, go to business.google.com and claim your profile. It will trigger a postcard. It normally takes about seven days to get there in the mail and then you can register your business on Google. When you see that map listing on the front page of Google, it is the Google My Business page that is showing up in that A, B, or C position. It is your website optimization that pushes it there. So they work in tandem. You've got to have one of these Google My Business pages in order to get into that map ranking. And again, it is the optimization on your website that is going to push it there. Now, Once you sign up for that Google My Business page, you also want to sign up on all of the other high-level local business directory uh, or citation sites. So you've got Yahoo, MSN, Yelp, Foursquare, uh, Trulia, Zillow, Yellow Pages, the Better Business Bureau, and the list goes on and on. But those are the core sites where you need to make sure that your business is listed. And the reason why you do this is not to rank individually on these services, although it will drive traffic for you 
um, and it will generate leads for you. But the main reason why you're going out and signing up for all of these local business tools is to show Google that you are the local expert in your marketplace. So when somebody does a search for your area and then mortgage lender or mortgage broker, Google goes out and tries to determine using their new rank brain who is the highest quality local business to show to the people that are, are searching for your services. And when they see references to your business on all of these other services, that is a high, it generates a high quality score for you so that your business is then going to show up on Google, right? So again, that's a, a 30,000 foot view of uh, the inner workings of that. Just make sure that when you set all of that up, all of the information is the exact same on all of those local citation sites. So the address needs to be the same, the website needs to be the same, the phone number needs to be the same, everything needs to be the same on each one so that that rank brain can pick it up and associate it all with your business. So that's step one, you've gotta have that localized presence. Step two, you've gotta fix your website. So we've been through hundreds of mortgage associated websites. Most of them are broken from a search engine optimization standpoint. Now, please understand that we are not talking about the graphics design of your website and how pretty it looks, right? Google really technically doesn't see that part of your website. What they see is the code. They read the code to your website to determine how well you should rank and what type of experience people are going to have when they get to your website. And in most cases in the mortgage industry, the websites look great, but they are broken from a code perspective. And you've got to get that fixed if you want to rank in that three pack with your Google My Business page and rank organically with your website. So. We have a tool that our team uses internally. So our specialists will actually overhaul your website for you or give you a plan to show you all of the things that need to be fixed with a step-by-step -step checklist on how to fix them. And I'm offering that to you here today for free. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you the link and I'd be happy to provide this for you. But I wanted to step you through all these things at a high level for those of you that are technical that can do this on your own. So. When you overhaul your website, first thing you need to look at is your hosting. Who hosts your website? How fast does your website load? And how big is your website? The golden rule is that you want your website to rank or to pull up in less than two seconds, right? If it's any longer than that, uh, people will bounce off your website and a high bounce rate is going to lead to a lower quality score, which is going to drop you down the ranking. So you wanna make sure that you've got a good hosting company. Then tagging, and again, we're gonna go through this at a very high level, but this just means that in the code on your website, you need to tell Google exactly what it is that your business is all about. Most mortgage websites that we overhaul and that we look at, on the back end, nothing has been put into the code to tell Google that you are a mortgage broker in a specific marketplace. So when they look at your website, they ask, where do you wanna rank? and your website doesn't say anything back to the search engine. And that is the result that you get. Absolutely nothing happens. So you need in your title tag, the description tag, and all of the images that you have on your website to place the main keywords that you want to rank for. Now, there is one core keyword that you put on the main part of your website, and then each individual page on your website should be focused on another keyword so that you can rank on as many keywords as possible. For those of you that are technical out there, this is what a title tag looks like up at the top with that red arrow. And then the second one, or that second tag, again, you wanna make sure that you have your main keywords and that tells Google specifically what your website is about and what key phrases you want to rank for when people are doing the search, right? Now this is an excellent resource for you. If you're using WordPress, use the Yoast SEO plugin. They do a great job of helping to step you through the process of making sure that your website at least has the core functionality from an SEO perspective that's gonna help to get you ranked. It's a free plugin, you don't have to buy the upgrade and it's a fantastic tool for you. Now, 
As I mentioned, the main page on your website gets optimized for one keyword, and you do that through the title tag and then what are called H tags. Uh, these are heading tags, and they tell Google what each content block is essentially on your website. And again, most mortgage websites are completely missing this stuff. And if this is getting too technical for you, don't worry, we're gonna get into some more actionable stuff. But unfortunately, this is work that has to be done. You can't get around it. You cannot rank on Google without this work being done, in my professional opinion. So you need to at least know the steps that need to be done so that if you have somebody on your team that's responsible for it, you can check their work. Or if you're going to have a company like ours do the work for you, you need to be able to make sure that the steps are being done efficiently and correctly. So you need to have that 30,000 foot knowledge of really what the process needs to look like. You don't know specifically how to do it, but you need to know that it got done. Okay, that's why we're teaching you this as part of this workshop. Now, each page on your website gets optimized for one specific key phrase. And you want to make sure that you've got quality content that is on each page of your website. Now, the big mistake that we see most loan officers and mortgage professionals making is they build a website completely around what they want it to look like. It's kind of weak on copy because you haven't had the time to sit down and really do it. And nobody has sat down and said, okay, what are the 10 key phrases that are going to drive buyers in the marketplace to our website and creating content around those 10 key phrases? We always look at our websites as, hey, what do I want to tell the marketplace? When it should actually be the reverse. You should say, what does the marketplace want and how do I create content so that I'm going to get the majority of the traffic in the local marketplace to call me? So that's what each individual page on your website should be about, ranking on a specific key phrase that's going to drive quality traffic for you. And then there's some other technical stuff. Obviously, you need to make sure that you've got a site map on your website. And that's just a blueprint that you submit to Google through Google Webmaster Tools so that when Google goes to crawl your website, they already know the map. They already know what you want to rank for. And it makes sure that there's no errors so that you rank quickly and you move quickly. So. A very simple plan for your website is that for every keyword you want to rank for it, you need one page or article on your website. So this is one of our clients that was specifically looking to rank for construction mortgages in Vernon. So they had content on their website specific to that. We did some optimization on that content by building links, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. And they were very quickly moved into that number one spot, which is fantastic. And again, this is what the content looks like. And you'll notice that this was done on a website that was not customized. Uh, this was basically given and we worked within a template structure in order to get that result, which is pretty cool. We've also done the same thing for reverse mortgages. We've done the same thing for VA loans. We've done the same thing for FHA loans. We've done things basically for any specific key phrase where you have somebody that goes to Google and does a query based on a specific type of loan. We can use your website to rank specifically for that phrase using individualized content on the website and you should do such as well on your uh, campaign <laughs> all right so a very simple way to go out and do keyword research just write down your top five products or keywords or the loans types that you want to put into the marketplace so it would be mortgage lender loan officer best loan officer area name loan officer or area name mortgage broker right those are the main key phrases that you're going to have people searching for when they are ready to go right now, ready to actually purchase, right? So just write down the top five products and keywords that you have in your marketplace, and those essentially become your top five keywords. Now, I'm also going to show you a really cool uh, reverse engineering strategy that we have that will actually show you what buying phrases are happening in your marketplace. I think you're really going to like that as well. Then to simply create your content, you take the key phrase that you want to rank for and you write down the topic and that becomes the heading of your article. Then answer the three main questions that you get on that topic all of the time. When your clients come into the office or they call you on the phone, what are the three questions that you get about that topic all of the time? Simply write down what the answer is to that question and that becomes your content. Make sure that you add in one question that they should ask. And these are the questions that 
uh, people come to you, they don't know that they need to ask the question. When you can teach people through your content and give them answers to questions that they didn't know that they had, you establish yourself as the expert that has their best interest at heart, which of course you do, right? So you just convey that through your content and it helps to move you to the front of the line because not only have they seen you as the top rated broker in your marketplace, but now they're also learning from your content and they feel much more comfortable moving forward with you. And this gets you pre-sold people on the phone that just have basic surface questions that they want to ask you about your mortgage business before they go ahead with actually starting to sign the paperwork and processing the loan. And in order to get them to that point, you want to make sure that you've got a call to action in your content. So underneath every piece of content that you produce on your website, have a call to action specifically telling people to call you right now with their questions or a form that allows them to book an appointment with you. It's very important to have a call to action. Basically, you want your content to be 600 to 1,000 words. Use the main keywords in your title. Use the main keyword naturally in your content and consistency is key. You should be publishing new content on your website at least once a month. And again, that is something that helps to move you up the rankings. Without that consistency, it's hard to show Google that you are an expert and that you are engaged in your marketplace. Content is really big for Google. Social media, we'll touch on this really quickly again. You just want to make sure that the links to all of your different social media profiles are up on your website. They're active on your website. And when people click the button, they don't just go to the service like facebook.com. They go to facebook.com forward slash your business page so that they can actually interact with your brand. Um, I know that sounds simplistic, but a lot of mortgage sites have the buttons and redirect just to the main service. It's a big problem that we see in the industry. So make sure that your web developer has properly set those buttons up on your website. You need a mobile website. This is just standard practice in today's marketplace. You must have a mobile website and it needs a mobile sitemap that you submit to Google. So very quickly, Google has two search engines, one that works on mobile phones and one that works on desktops and tablets. So if you don't have a mobile website, you don't get to show up in the mobile search results at all and it pulls down your ranking on desktop computers. And that's really important because Google is making major announcements stating how important mobile is to driving local customers. So on February 26, 2015, Google made the announcement that they were expanding their use of mobile friendliness as a ranking signal. Mobile searches in all languages worldwide will have a significant impact in our search results. And the reason why they've done that is because there is now more searches happening on mobile phones than there are on desktops. Over 50% of your opportunity in your local mortgage marketplace is happening on mobile phones. If you don't have a mobile website in order to capture that traffic, you're not going to be able to rank for it and you're not going to get phone calls from people that are doing mobile searches. And the great thing about this is when you rank that three pack, that map ranking, it shows up at the top of most of the mobile search results above the organic. And each of those profiles has a one touch dial option. So people will actually do a search for a loan officer or a mortgage broker, click the call button and never even visit your website. Just call you directly because you're the top rated professional in that marketplace. It's a really great way to drive really high quality local leads in your business. So if you don't know if you have a mobile website, Google's got this tool. Just go to Google and type in mobile website tool. It will take you to the mobile friendly test. It'll be the first search result up at the top. Type in your web address. If it gives you the green awesome note, you're good to go. You've got a great mobile website that Google sees as friendly. If you get the red error message, your website is in big trouble. You're losing organic traffic and you're losing mobile traffic and you need to make this an actionable item right away to get a mobile website built on your website. The next part is link building. And this is where most of the heavy lifting happens in a search engine optimization campaign. It's about content and link building because that is how Google determines how popular your website is and the more popular your website is, the higher it is going to show up in the search engine rankings. So you want to make sure that you have high quality links that are being driven to your site every day. And for our purposes, a link is simply another website online that puts a link or a hyperlink that links back to your website. And Google sees all of the other websites online that point to your website. 
And the more popular you are, the more links you have, right? It's uh, from a technical perspective, it's very easy, even though getting those high quality links can be very difficult sometimes. Now, the reason why link building is so important is because of the movement that it produces in the search engine rankings. So this is a study that was done by SEO Moz and they surveyed the top 72 SEO companies out there. And in the blue box in the circle, that's not a box, it's pie chart, pardon me, the trust authority of the host domain is one of the most important factors that go into moving a website up the rankings. And trust and authority is built through high quality content and link building, okay? So in order to rank your website, you must have both of those things increasing the trust and authority of your domain name. So for all of you that are bouncing around from idea to idea, to website to website, to domain name to domain name, Every time you shift your focus and move over to a new web domain, you are shooting yourself in the foot and you are losing all of the potential link building and uh, authority that you had built on the previous website. Try as best as you can to stick to a brand associated to you and your name or your business and stick with that long term. It is important to maintain that consistency in order to maintain rankings, in order to maintain business growth, and to hit your income goals. And then the second most important factor is link popularity of the specific page, which is backlinks. And then uh, again, you know, just those two things make up the majority of what's going to rank. But if you look at on-page keyword usage at 15%, and then anchor text of external links to the page. Those are both also link building and content strategies that we've covered in this webinar. So you've covered the top four things that are really gonna move the needle for your website. Now, when we're looking at backlinks, there's three main types of backlinks. And again, if this is too technical for you, don't worry. This is just information that you need to store. You don't actually have to do the work. Either we can do it for you or an agency can do it for you, but you have to understand the concepts behind them so that you can make sure that the work is actually being done and it's being done properly, right? So the three main types of backlinks are local, contextual, and authority. And each of these links are built in a different way. So if you want to build a local backlink, go out and just search for your area name and then business directory or business listing. It will pull up all of the highest quality business directories according to Google. And you simply go down the list and sign your webs or your business up on each of the business directories that are pulled up in your local marketplace. Start hyper-local with your city, and then you can expand out into cities around you, and then you can expand out into the province and then or state and uh, build out those local backlinks. Start at the epicenter of where your business is and then expand out from there with those local signals, right? The second is contextual. And that means that the websites that are linking back to you relate specifically to the mortgage or real estate or finance categories. We have found that Google has kind of word associations with those three categories on optimization. So look for finance blogs, look for real estate blogs, look for mortgage blogs where you can get your content published, or you can sign up for directories specific to our industry and get those links pointing back to your page. Again, every time Google sees one of those contextual links pointing back to your site, they see you as an expert and it helps to move your rankings up the search engines. Then you want authority backlinks. And these are high level, highly branded websites on the internet that Google sees as authority platforms. And when you can generate a link from one of these back to your website, again, it helps to show Google that you are an authority and you've given them lots of local and contextual information to know what key phrases they need to rank you for. And this just goes to solidify your presence online and show them that you really are an authority. So your Google My Business page counts as both a local and a contextual and an authority backlink. Your Yahoo and MSN profile that you're going to sign up for, your Yelp profile, your Trulia profile. And again, uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, all of those other high authority sites also fit into this category. Now, Here's the thing about link building. You need all three every month. It has to happen every month and it needs to be consistent. You can't just start and stop and start and stop 
Link building needs to be consistent in order for Google to see congruency in your marketing and see you as a true expert in the marketplace. And those are the core systems to your ranking plan. So you've got to fix the structure of your website, make sure that your code is built properly and that your website is built properly. You need quality content on an ongoing basis at least once a month that is written specific to your keywords. Then you need link building to support your content, to support your website, and all three of them together push your website up the rankings and get that Google My Business page into the three pack and get you that natural organic traffic. But wait, how do you know if you can beat your competition? To finish this marketing box in our marketing plan, we need to know that you're going to go into the marketplace and get the highest result from your marketing for the least amount of effort. And the way that you do that is through a little bit of local market research and reverse engineering what's happening in your marketplace. And this is how I dominate local search markets, uh, especially in the mortgage community. This is where I start every single campaign uh, that we get on the front page. So there's a tool out there called semrush.com. You can use it three or four times uh, for free and then you've got to upgrade. So you can do this on three or four of your competitors. But all you do is go to semrush.com. If you're in the United States, click the US box. If you're in Canada, click the icon, change it to Canada. And then type in your competitor's website. So do a Google search for your area name and then mortgage broker. Take the mortgage broker that's in the number one, the number two, and the number three spot and punch them into this SEM rush tool, right? They will show you how much search volume is happening for the key phrases and how much of that traffic uh, is essentially represented on that website. So what this allows you to do is to reverse engineer where your competitors are getting their traffic from, who's going to their website based on what key phrases. So you can very quickly see what key phrases are driving the most amount of traffic to your competitor's website. You can take those keywords and put them into your keyword list. So when you rank above them on the search engines with more ratings, reviews, and testimonials, you know how much traffic you're going to be able to drive to your website locally. Now, it goes even deeper than that. Google AdWords will actually show you keyword volume on mass, and this is actually a little bit uh, more accurate than the SEM Rush tool. And what you do is you just take the keyword list that you get through your competitive analysis, punch it into Google AdWords. This is a free tool. You sign up for a Google AdWords account, go to Tools up in the top right, and then punch in your keywords, and Google will show you how much search volume is happening on each of those key phrases. So you can reverse engineer exactly how much traffic you're going to get across your website when you rank on those specific key phrases, which is pretty cool. So reverse engineer the top competitors for your top five keywords, and you know exactly who your competition is. Then we need a plan for how much work is actually going to go into beating your competitors, right? Now you know their keywords, you know how much keyword volume or how many searches you're going to get every month, how many people you're going to drive to your website. Now you've got to know how much optimization you have to do in order to catch them and surpass them. And you get that through this tool called Moz. It's moz.com forward slash research tools forward slash OSE. And what you do is you type your competitors, uh, into that URL search box. And it will show you the domain authority, which we talked about as the number one ranking factor, right? Page authority, and then the established links that are going to their website. And this tells you roughly how much content you need to produce and how many links you need to build in order to surpass your competition and take their rankings on those specific key phrases. So what you do, is you write down this chart and it says page authority, domain authority, backlinks and citations, and online reviews. Rate yourself first as far as how much of this stuff you have done in your business. Then look at your top competitor, write them down side by side, and now you have a very specific goal as to what you need to do in order to get that natural organic Google ranking to capture the highest quality traffic in marketing 
in your local marketplace, which is pretty cool. Now, here's the final step in your ranking game plan. You need online reviews. Now, in the early years of website reviews, they weren't verifiable, so they weren't trusted. We've all seen those websites that have those weird reviews on them, right? Well, Amazon and all of the giants in the online space got very serious about fake reviews online because it is a core business process for them. If they can't get people to believe that online reviews are true, they can't use online reviews to boost sales and to boost their own revenues. So Amazon started suing businesses that were using fake reviews. If you were using fake reviews on your Amazon account, you got banned and you were not allowed back into the marketplace. They got really serious about it. Then the FTC got involved. They started suing businesses. This is a, a screenshot from the FTC website where they fined a small business $250,000 because it used misleading online consumer and independent reviews. This is why we never use fake testimonials. In today's world, you cannot do it. It is highly highly regimented by these monsters in the marketplace because online reviews are so valuable. That's why your customers need a Google account in order to leave you a rating and review. It's because those ratings and reviews drive so much volume in the marketplace, they have to be real people and the marketplace in general has to believe that they're real people. And if you think about it and your own behavior, it just makes sense. On Amazon, the reviews are featured right beside the products. Same thing with TripAdvisor, same thing with Trulia, and of course the monster, Google, right? So if you go out and do a search for Mortgage Broker Brooklyn, our, our client Yale shows up in the C position with 15 ratings, reviews, and testimonials. Featured right there on the front page of Google, online reviews from people that are shifting and driving volume into this business because they are, well, in this case, they're the only rated uh, mortgage company on the front page, which is going to drive that volume. But we want you to be the top rated in your market. People have to use their real profiles to leave online reviews so that they are trustworthy. And online reviews are now crucial to getting customers from the front page. This is a study by Bright Local, and it shows that when you add up all of those columns, 86% of people now trust online customer reviews as much as personal recommendations. Because over the last three years, Every single major online service that sells things has defaulted to using real online ratings and reviews to help sell their products and services. So becoming a top ranked and rated business is the way to create a significant influx of customers right now. And that's why we're focusing on this in our marketing blueprint as the core way to drive business. You've got to have this in place, again, before you move down that process map into pay-per-click marketing or social media marketing, because this is going to bring you the highest volume of the highest quality leads online that are looking for what you've got. Then you can graduate into those other marketing systems as you need to build more volume in the process. Now, in order to get online ratings and reviews, we use a process called social alchemy. And you don't need the fancy PDF, even though you can get access to these slides by filling out the link that I'm going to give you at the end and requesting one of our analyses. But what you want to do on the left-hand side is write down who are your best past customers. These are customers you know are going to leave you a five-star rating and review. Then on the right, you want to write down who are your friends and industry partners that are going to leave you a five-star rating and review. And these are the realtors that you work with, all of the different professionals that you work with. And the reason why we're breaking it down into two different groups is because when people read your online reviews and you're on the front page and you are the top rated, they're going to see reviews not only from customers, but from industry partners that they may have already seen or they may know in the marketplace. So when they see a review from a realtor, they go, oh, wow. This person must be an incredible mortgage broker. They've got realtors leaving them reviews, right? It's that peer influence of having professionals within your industry to leave you those reviews that just gives you that extra oomph, that extra credibility. And that's, you know, if, if that helps you convert an extra two to four loans a year, it's certainly worth it to leverage those relationships and get those reviews. And all you do is take that list, brainstorm out those people, and then send them a simple email. You can use this template, you can use it in your own words. The most important part is that the email actually gets sent and you actually direct them to your Google My Business profile in order to leave you a review. Now, you may also wanna stack reviews on your Trulia profile or uh, 
you know, there's other review sites out there. Google is the kingpin when it comes to driving quality local leads. So focus there first. And you can take an email like this. Hope all's well with you and your family. I'm running a test, wondering if you can help me out. And then ask them to leave you the review and then give them just a format for how to leave the review. Here's where you were when we met. Here's what I did to help you out. And here's where you are in your life today. Just give them a simple format to leave that rating and review. You don't want to write the review for them because you don't want all your reviews to look the same, but you want to give them a process that they can follow in order to leave that rating and review because it makes it easier for them and it will result in you getting more ratings and reviews. So that's it. Your plan for more customers is done. Now, it's very important to answer how many deals can this produce. So this was a study that was done by Accenture and this is actually a couple of years old, which is telling for how much our marketplace has changed today. But their study showed that more than a fifth or 23% of US consumers who purchased a mortgage over the past year did so through the internet slash online channel. Those numbers are very similar in the Canadian market. So if you think about that, almost 25%, let me say that again, almost 25% of the mortgage volume that's being written, those people are going online and ultimately making the decision as to who they're going to fund with based on online research. Once the phone call happens, the phone rings, they're so much further down the buying process than they were five years ago when they called you. They already know specifically what rate they're looking for. They probably know what options they want included in the mortgage. They may even know what bank they want to be placed with, right? Again, for our Canadian mortgage brokers. And all of that drives that customer to you so that you can just simply close that loan. You're the top rated professional that's going to provide the best service, not just rate, which is driving those quality customers to you. So think about that. Almost 25% of the transactions in your market are converting from search. Another big reason why we're focusing on this first in our marketing campaign, right? So all you've really got to do to ballpark your volume figures that you can get from the system is to take a look at your market volume. So go out and do a Google search and search for the number of homes that were sold in your marketplace last year. Those statistics are probably available through your board of realtors, right? So in our example, we're going to use Guelph, Ontario, which is, you know, in, in many instances considered a small city. It's just over 100,000 people. And on average, they've got roughly 300 home sales that are happening uh, in that marketplace. So all you've got to do is take the number that we brainstormed out when we were working in front of the whiteboard. What is your average commission that you make for every deal? Write that down. Then what's your average market volume based on those home sales? Now keep in mind, we're not looking at refinances. We're not looking at uh, you know equity take, like none of that stuff. This is just pure purchase business of people that are buying houses. And we're just averaging our numbers on that. So we're leaving a lot on the table that you're gonna tap into. So we're aiming low here. But that's great. We want to aim low so that when you implement the system and you start getting the results, you can exceed the goals that you've set. Because man, I got to tell you, that is a phenomenal feeling when you write down a very lofty goal for your yearly production and you actually exceed it. It feels phenomenal and it's a great thing for your family, right? So that's why we're aiming low. So then you write down your profit potential. Now that's 25% of the total volume because we know statistically roughly that number of loans are being influenced by the search engines and by online searches. Now you take your average commission, total available deals per year, and that gives you your profit potential. So let me take you through an example and show you how we're, we're, we run these numbers specifically for your business so that you can fill in that marketing box that we went through. But I also want to show you how we can shoot very, very low for what you can achieve through this system and then build your goals from there. So we're going to take an average commission on a $300,000 price point, which is the average in our marketplace. And we're going to say that we're going to make a 1% commission, right? Again, those of you that are in the U.S. market are going to make a much larger commission than that. And that's great. Put your commission numbers in there. So our average commission is going to be about $3,000. Now, our average market volume based on Guelph, which is 120,000 people, that's 
3,600 transactions per year that are happening in the marketplace, right? Now, our profit potential is 25% of that number, which is 900 loans. Now, obviously, we're not going to get the full 25%. We need to make an attainable goal off of that number. So we're going to say that we're going to go into the marketplace. We're going to get that business. Remember, really, these deals are going to close with or without you. You can't change market statistics. You can't change how many homes are being bought or sold. These commissions are going to go across somebody's desk, right? Though They're in the marketplace. They are there for you to go and take. You've got this information that's going to help you go out and get there. It's your choice whether you want to tap into the volume. The numbers themselves and the volume of revenue that's being generated for somebody in the marketplace doesn't change. It's just your choice whether you want to tap into it or not. So let's say that you make that choice. You're going to come along on this journey with me, but we're going to aim real low and say you're just going to close 2% of the available market by being the top rated mortgage professional in your marketplace. So of that 25%, we're going to say we're just going to close 2%. So to set your goals, you say your average commission is your $3,000 or whatever your number was in that box. We're gonna take 2% of the 900, so 2% of the 25, right? That leaves us with 18 deals per year that we would be looking at roughly in the Guelph market. Our profit potential, 3,000 times 18, is $54,000 or $4,500 per month on average that we would generate through that system. And that's only generating 2% of the available people that are closing because of the online research that they're doing online. And again, I wanted to give you this structure so that you can take your numbers in your marketplace and really layer that over your business to see what these numbers look like for you. And again, we're aiming really low. So now let's wrap this all up and take it back to your goals and your planning session. You should have a sheet of paper in front of you right now that has this process that we laid out on the whiteboard, right? So if we take your database and we know that we're gonna get one transaction for every five people, right? If you've got a database of 50 people, that's 10 deals a year, right? Keep in mind, every deal that you generate from your referral partners and from your marketing rolls over into your database number for the next year. So as your career advances through time, your database, just by doing the exact same work and putting in the exact same effort every year, your database will generate far more volume for you over time. But if you keep going on your referral partners and you keep going on your marketing, that number can grow exponentially for you as you funnel more new leads into the database and then turn them into referral partners. Obviously, the bigger your database gets, the more referrals you're going to get when you properly work your database, right? So again, just helping you with some simple math, your numbers are gonna be a little bit different than what's on your screen. Then if you look at referral partners, for every one referral partner, you're going to get an average of six transactions, one every other month, right? So if you're gonna go out and get three new referral partners this year, and that should be worth roughly 18 deals for you over the next 12 months. Now keep in mind for your own goal setting exercise that this is also one of those areas where you can make a significant impact by adding two, three, four more referral partners into your business. Again, we're breaking this down so that you have the power of numbers from this point forward in your business. And based on the ultimate goal that you have written down through this masterclass, you can adjust each of these boxes, each of these levers to reach your income goals. And you can play around with these numbers and then take action in your business in order to go out and get the goal. So again, your numbers are going to be a little bit different than what we see on the screen here. Then when we look at our marketing at just taking 2% of the available marketplace as far as clients that are coming and getting a mortgage professional from the front page of Google. If we just get 2% of that, that's 18 deals. And again, that's based on the numbers in Guelph, population of roughly 100,000 people and the home sales that are happening in that market right now. Again, your numbers may be a lot higher or they might be a little bit lower, right? But 
if we take 2%, that's a grand total of 46, which is very, very close to our 50. And I wanted to show you that because I believe it's very important to reach for lofty goals in your business. We don't want you just maintaining the same number of deals and the same income that you have every year if that's not your goal, right? Your goal will dictate what this number is and each of these levers is going to give you the activities that you need to do in order to go out and reach that goal, which is where the real potential exists within this system. So take a look at that 2% and look what happens when we change it to 4%. It goes up to 36 and that changes our total to 64, which is huge movement when you look at the income that is produced from the deals that come from that source. But you'll notice, we haven't added any new leads into the system at all. What we've done is gotten better at our internal systems of working our leads. And in our consulting world where we work with our mortgage clients, this is one of the areas where we're normally able to make a big movement in the needle as far as income because we take the existing leads that are coming into the business and we do a better job of picking up the phone right away and connecting with those customers. People that fill out web forms get an autoresponder series on the back end that convert more of them into appointments and phone calls. And when people call and leave a message, there's a process in place in order to book an appointment with that person. And doing just simple things within your business to follow up with your leads can make a massive impact in the number of deals that you're closing. It's very attainable with the Google systems that we have in order to move that needle and reach 4% market penetration and far beyond that. Again, we want to keep these uh, goals and scenarios on the low end so that when you're actually experiencing them, you're going through and seeing better numbers than what you've put down in your goal setting exercise. So I just wanted to share that with you because again, it's one of those areas where you can see great growth. So your plan for more customers and more commissions and income in your personal life is done. Now, let me ask you a very important question. You've got that sheet in front of you. You've got your goal worked out on income. You know the volume that you need to produce in your business in order to go out and get that goal. And now we've just got it broken down into three simple numbers. We need to get a certain number from your database, a certain number from your referral partners, and a certain number from your marketing. Would you like me and my team to help you fill those boxes in and get you to your ultimate goal? It would be my absolute pleasure to help walk you through the process and get you there, which is why I'm offering a free website and business analysis for your business along with a 30-minute free consultation where I'll sit down with you or a member of our team will sit down with you and review your goals and review what you've done through the exercise and make sure that your market can actually produce the volume that you need in order to hit your income targets. It's actually a really fascinating process. I think you're absolutely going to love it. So during the call, we're going to reverse engineer your competition, find out what keywords are going to be the most profitable for you and show you roughly how much traffic exists in your marketplace that you're going to be able to tap into. We're going to analyze your website and give you that custom optimization plan with the checklist that shows you how to fix everything on your website so that you can climb the ranking. You leave the call with that blueprint and the checklist so that you can actually go out and do the work on your own if you want to. Um, I don't suggest that you do the work yourself. Obviously, we want you out there networking and closing as many loans as possible, not worrying about meta tags and title tags and all that kind of stuff. But if you so choose to spend your time that way, you can, and the plan gives you everything that you need in order to make that actionable. And then what we're going to do is just take you through your goals and make sure that we're actually able to help you attain that goal. And then if it looks like we're a good fit and we can actually help you, we can actually help you reach your goals uh, at the end of the call will ask you if you want to become a client. There's no high pressure sales pitch or anything like that. We provide lots of value and the plan up front. And then at the end, you can decide, uh, you know, if we decide that we're a good fit, 
we can decide that we want to work together and then move forward from that point. So go to connectionincorporated.com forward slash analysis. Click the green button that's on the right hand side and claim your free website analysis and ranking consultation along with your 30 minute call. Specifically on that call, you're getting 30 minutes of actionable, valuable consulting for free from me and my team. You're getting a complete analysis of your online presence with a custom ranking blueprint and a plan to help you hit your income goals. This is a very valuable tool that you're getting access to here. Now, I wanted to share a testimonial with you because we were erring on the side of caution with the numbers that we used in the exercise. And I want to show you what's happening in the real world with some of our clients where we are doing this work for them. And this is from James Lowen. Last year, we increased our business by 48% more mortgage deals as a result of our SEO pay-per-click and online marketing campaigns with Chris and Connection Inc. We're now the number one rated mortgage brokerage in Canada and are continuing to grow. Now, This is what his online presence looks like currently, and he is obviously very well ranked and very well rated in the three pack at the top, and his website has a fantastic ranking to back that up as well. And um, this screenshot is showing him in the number 30 position in the CMP top 75. He's actually higher up in that ranking this year. There's a new ranking that came out, but I wanted you to see the testimonial uh, based on the time period Uh, that it was left. So I wanted this to be completely accurate. Uh, So you can see the loans funded during the time that we've been working with them. And so you can attribute the 48%, do the math and see uh, what that would look like for your business as well. I don't want to dwell on this too much. Um, But what I did want to say is while you're going through this consultation, We have systems and processes to move the needle in each area of your business. So if you want more referrals from your database, we have systems and processes for that. If you want more referral partners, we have marketing campaigns, systems and processes to help you quickly and easily build rapport and get meetings and close new referral partners in your business. If you're looking at marketing, we have systems and done for you or done with you processes for getting you on the front page of Google, running paid marketing campaigns in your business that generate high quality mortgage leads and social media marketing systems. So regardless of where you are in your business, if you see room for growth, but you don't have the time to go out and do the work yourself, or you're struggling to find a system that will generate the result for you, the next step for you in your business and in your business growth is to go to connectionincorporated.com forward slash analysis. Claim this free report and the 30 minute consultation, and I will make sure that you get the value and the system that you need in order to hit the growth target with the area of the lowest hanging fruit in your business. I'm really looking forward to taking you through that process. Now, if you're interested in just getting started right away, we get emails like that from presentations like this. You can go to connectionincorporated.com and sign up to get direct product information, or you can give our staff a call at 855-432-3990. That number again, 1-855-432-3990. 990. They're happy to answer any questions that you have and get you the information that you need. Now, my name is Chris Johnstone. Myself and our staff are just delighted that you've taken the training. And I'm wondering if after all this, an hour of training, you could do me a favor. I would like for you to share this information with others in the mortgage community and in the business community. This training can help your real estate partners, your legal partners, all the people that you do business with on a regular basis. I'd like you to forward the email that you got that introduced you to this or just share the information itself. Share it on Facebook. Let's spread the word about this training because we're all in this together and we can all grow our businesses. We can all hit our income targets. We can all hit the revenue that we want to provide for our families together. And the more people that get this information, the more powerful we are as a group. So if you could take the time to post a nice comment on Facebook, post a link to the video, share this with as many people 
uh, as you can, I would greatly appreciate it. So my name is Chris Johnstone. It's been my absolute joy and pleasure to share this information with you. It's had a massive impact on my personal growth and the growth of our family. And I wanted to share it with you so that you could take the information and action it yourself and hopefully get the same results that I have going through this journey of being really structured and process driven in hitting the income targets that you really want to lead the type of lifestyle that you would like. So with that, we're going to close off. It's been my absolute pleasure, and I look forward to your feedback. Hope you're having a great day.